to do, and what you'll find a lot easier, is if you take your pin, gentle bashes from one side to the other, we don't want no big whelks, and it just takes some of that pressure off instead of having to roll the whole ball of clay. As you can see, I'm just going from one side to the other, and turn your clay over. Let's just backwards and forwards, nice and even. What I find helps, hold your pin, finger across, and hold it quite firm to where you've got your clay. You'll find if you hold it down here, it's going to hurt your wrist. Alright, so nice and firm. Just gently pat it all the way along. You get her pockets like that. Don't worry too much because we can take those out. Just going to pop it with your pin and then carry on. Once you get to about that sort of depth, what you can do then is pick it up. You're going to support your clay with your fingers like that, and you're going to pick it up and slap it back down on your mat. And you're going to keep doing that, and you can turn it the other way as well, and it'll stretch it out for you without having to do all that work with the pin. So just mat with them forwards, supporting your clay as you pick it up, and then just bang it down like that. And keep going. I usually go until I've got about one pin, two pin rolls of my pin to do. And sometimes I go all the way so I don't even need to bother with the pin at all. So as you can see, I'm just flattening it out. And this where I'm making today is going to be garden sticks. So I'm probably at the depth of where I want to be. Okay, so I'm just going to get my rib. Yeah. Alright, so when you've got your clay down to where you want, the, where you want it, you're going to take a rib and you're going to go over your clay like that. And all this is doing is compressing the clay so it avoids any cracks. Particularly if you were going to do plates or dishes and things like that. So all I'm doing is just going over, taking any extra off my rib as I'm going, and then I'm going to turn it over. Now I've got texture on my mat, and I don't want that texture to go back into this surface I've just done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a piece of paper, I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to flip it over. Like that. Nothing's going to go under. And I'm just going to rib it again. Just like that. Right, and as you can see, it's just smoothing out all that texture. Like that. Now sometimes you get in a pocket like that, don't worry about it. All you're going to do is take that clay off your rib, pop it back in the hole, and go back over with your rib like that, and it'll get rid of it for you. Alright, and that's basically how you prepare a slab. Alright, I'll see you soon.